Bitches leave. Hey guys, so uh, I was just watching a Watch Mojo video on uh, Joe Rogan in the top 10, like most contentious interviews that he's had. And I got up to number three, which was uh, the dude from Adam Ruins Everything. And um, it kind of just made me think a little bit uh, about uh, something that I've actually kind of been meaning to do. Uh, I wanted to talk about the Netflix show, Big Mouth. Particularly, I wanted to talk about why I'm done with that show. The first two seasons I really liked, and don't get me wrong, um, it always pushed the envelope. It was always, it, it couldn't have been made unless it was a cartoon, but a lot of the situations that it covers are very relatable. And that's what kind of makes it funny. You know, everybody can relate to it. Adults have all gone through that. I would never let a kid watch that show. And then around season three, I'm not saying that season three wasn't funny, but there was this whole thing where one of the characters makes out with his cousin. You're kind of influencing a generation to say that it's okay to do things like that. You're normalizing it. You're saying, hey, every, everybody does this. It's, it's okay, you'll, you'll grow past it. Flash forward to the next season. I have not finished watching it. The first episode was enough for me. They depict a middle schooler who is transgender and their parents gave them hormones to go from a man to a lady excuse me uh, a boy to a girl and this does relate directly to uh what i was watching on the joe rogan uh list as far as actual like adult transgender people go i have no beef i think that what you do with your own body is your own decision and if you were born a man and you consider yourself a woman now, whether or not I think you are a woman biologically doesn't matter. If that is what you feel your identity is, that's how I will refer to you. As far as what Big Mouth depicted, and depicted it as totally fine, totally okay, you can't get a tattoo if you're underage. You can't get a goddamn driver's license. You can't smoke cigarettes, you can't watch porn. But when you are in middle school, your brain is a clusterfuck of hormones already. You don't need to fuck with that further. If you are a parent and you seriously chemically alter your child's body, that is evil, plain and simple. I did a video last season on sleepaway camp, okay, because there's this whole argument that, you know, it's transphobic and yada yada, and I made the argument, no, it's not. It's not transphobic, because we're not talking about a person who, who changed their sex when they were a grown adult and they made their own decision. This was somebody who freaking was living with their crazy mother who tried to tell them that they were a girl when they weren't and fucked them up royally. There is a stark difference, but no wonder it's being deemed as transphobic because they're pushing this shit on kids. And again, I'll go back to the whole dependent thing. Sorry, Past Gabe, to keep uh, chiming in here, but uh, I, I just thought of a better point. When you make something like that the reality, are you empowering the child or are you empowering their parent? If the parent decides, well, I always wanted a little girl. Ah. Bottom line, I'm, I'm done with Big Mouth. No! And that's all she wrote.